All right, got all the questions right so far. Three more questions to go. Hmm, mind the circle above, segment AB's diameter. Ooh, you know what? Circle's not my best part. You know what? Let me let me give it a shot. Twelve seconds later. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip it. You know what? I'll just come back later. It's okay, not that big of a deal. Minus one, it's not the end of the world. Let's go to the next one. A cir Okay. It's alright. It's alright. Circle another circle question. Not my not my strength, but you know, minus two. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Let's go to the next question. Three three circles in a row? Dude, that's no, no, that's I, I'm gonna miss three. Minus three, that's like that's like six hundred, like where, where am I gonna go? Like, and maybe Emery, but like, dude, dude, who wants to go to Emery? No, dude, stop. No, there's gotta be something wrong with the exam. Dude, no, please. No, not minus three. What's going on guys, today we're going to go over the three types of circle questions that show up on the SAT. If you're a student and you're taking SAT at some point, I personally guarantee that you're going to see these questions and if you don't know how to solve them, you're going to miss them like the other guy just did. And to make sure that doesn't happen, we're going to go over the three types that show up on the exam, how you can recognize them easily, and how you can solve these questions quickly and start raising your SAT score. Okay, let's stop wasting time, let's get straight into it. The first type, the first type you need to know is going to be based on arc length and sector area. Kind of looks something like this, and we're going to go over them in a bit. Second type is going to be circle characteristics. Some things you need to know about circles is just pure memorization. If you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, you don't. And the last type is going to be the equation of a circle. It's a circle question, but on the choices, you see equations. Like, what the heck is this? And if you see this question, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Let's get a little bit deeper into it. All right, so the first question is going to be based on arc length and sector area. So let's look at this question. In the circle above segment AB, so segment AB is going to be a diameter. And if the length of arc ADB is a pi, what's the length of the radius of a circle? So first of all, how do we know this is a arc length question? Because we're talking about the length of the arc. Okay. If anytime the question mentions length of the arc or it mentions the area of a sector, you can be completely confident that it's going to be a sector area or arc length question. Okay. And for this kind of question, what you want to know is the equations. Okay. So arc length, the equation is going to be 2 pi r, which is the circumference times angle over 360. Second one is going to be sector area, which is going to be pi r squared times theta over 360. Okay. And Radius is going to be r and theta is going to be the angle and if you plug it in you can find out what the sector's area is or what the arc length is. And for this question instead of looking for the length of the arc it tells us the length of the arc but we're, we're looking for the radius instead. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug these things into the equation and it's going to work itself out. So arc length we use this equation right there. So let's just copy it down here, 2 pi r times theta over 360. And we know that the arc length is equal to 8 pi, right? So let's start filling stuff in. Do we know the theta? Well, the theta for the arc ADB is going to be right here. And the angle that's corresponding to it will be right here. And because we know this is the diameter, we know this angle is going to be 180 degrees. So the theta is going to be 180 right here, okay? And radius is exactly what we're looking for. And within this equation, this radius is the only thing that we don't know, which means we can actually find the radius by isolating it. Okay, so let's solve this out. 180 over 360, the same thing as one half times 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is equal to 8 pi. And to get rid of one half, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. And that's going to give us 2 pi r is equal to 16 pi. And divide by 2 pi, divide by 2 pi that will give us radius is equal to pi's cancel out and 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8. So radius is going to be 8. Our answer is going to be C. Okay. So what you need to know is first, how do we recognize it? It's going to give you some kind of hint. It's going to either say length of an arc or it's going to talk about the length of an arc or it's going to talk about the area of a sector. Okay. And second, you need to know these two equations right there. Okay. These are super important. And if you plug them in, you're going to be able to get your answers. Make sense? All right. Let's go to the second type. Circle characteristics, okay? 
So in the figure above, point O is the center of the circle. Line segment LN and MN are going to be tangent. Okay, that's going to be important in a second. To the circle at point L and N respectively, and the segment inter intersect at point M as shown. So they intersect right there. If the, circumfer <laughs> if the circumference of the circle is 96, what's the length of the minor arc LN? Okay, so first of all, we are talking about arc length again, which means you're gonna have to use the arc length formula, which is two pi r times theta over 360, right? And also it says LM and MN, these two lines right here, they are going to be tangent. Tangent meaning it only touches one point. And in this case, it only touches one point of the circle. And the lines that are tangent to the circle will always form a right angle with the radius okay that is going to be the characteristics you need to know about the circle more of that is going to be revealed later but at least for this question you want to know that characteristic that tangent line and the radius always forms a right angle okay so let's get back to the question we're looking for arc length of ln right so which is right here ln is right there so how do we find it we just need to know what the angle is and we just need to know what the radius is okay so can we find out what the radius is well, the question tells us that um, circumference is going to be 96, okay? So circumference 2 pi r is going to be 96, which means radius is going to be 96 divided by 2 pi, okay? And after you do that, you can find out what the radius is. And in order for us to find the arc length of ln, we have to use the arc length formula. And we need to know what the um, angle is going to be. So how do we know what the angle is? Well, we know that shape right there, that weird like, that looking shape right there, it has one, two, three, four sides. And we know that if it has four sides, the total angle inside is going to be 360, okay? And 60, 90, 90, let's add it up. 90, it's gonna be 150 plus 90, it's going to be 240, right? So three of these things added up is gonna equal 240. And we know that this angle is going to be 360 minus 240 and that's gonna equal 120, which means the angle right there is going to be 120 degrees, which means the angle that we're gonna use is also going to be 120 degrees, okay? So we got our radius here and we got our angle here. If we solve it out, we can find out what the length of ln is. So let's put it in two pi times the radius, which is 96 divided by two pi times the theta, which is going to be 120 degrees, 120 divided by 360, okay? And we know two pi's are gonna cancel out and 120 over 360 is going to be, it's gonna be one over three because zeros cancel out and 12 divided by 36 is going to be one third, right? So it's going to be 96 times one third, which is going to be 32. And that's going to be your answer. Does that make sense? I hope so. So again, arc length happened again. Whenever you see something related to the arc length, there's a big, big, super big chance that you're gonna have to do something with the arc length. And also, something about this question is characteristics about a circle. I'll be giving you a list of characteristics you need to know about circles in a second, but at least for this question, whenever you're reading a question and tangent pops up and there's also radii involved, you need to recognize that, okay, these two angles, these two lines are going to form a right angle and you have to use that within the question. And if you don't know that, there's no way you could have solved number 36. Okay, so make sure you recognize those questions. The third type you're gonna to have to know is going to be equation of a circle, okay? So here's what it looks like. A circle is graphed on a xy plane. If the circle has a radius of three and the center of four minus two, which the following could be an equation of the circle, okay? So whenever they ask you for an equation of a circle, it's 10 out of 10 is equation of a circle question. That's how you can recognize that it's a circle with an equation question. So how do we, what, how do we solve this? So how do we solve this question? Here's what you do. Equation of a circle has this form originally. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. And X, I mean H, is going to be X coordinate of the center. And Y, I mean K, is going to be the Y coordinate of the center. And obviously R is going to be the radius, okay? So what you need to do now is just piece everything together. It says the radius is three, so radius, and we have to square that, and it tells us that the center is four and minus two. So it's going to be x minus x coordinate of this uh, center, which is four, square plus y minus y coordinate of the center, which is going to be minus two, square 
is equal to 3 squared. And if we simplify this out, it's going to be x minus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 9. Okay, And that's going to be the equation version of this circle right there. And which one looks like that? Well, it has to have minus 4 and plus 2. So minus 4, minus 4, and plus 2. Okay, these two could possibly work. And what about, what's the difference? Well, the middle. The middle, one of them has a minus, one of them has a plus. And our original structure has a plus in the middle. It always, always, always has to have a plus in the middle. Otherwise, this equation would not work. Okay, so what do we do? We pick choice C. Okay, and that's going to be your answer. Okay, and those are going to be the three types that you need to know for SAT. And if you know these three, there's a big, big chance you're going to get every single one of them right. And that's going to be everything you need to know about circles, at least for the SAT. If you know those three types, you are going to be set. I know there are some people that wanted me to go a little bit more in depth into each question, explaining more stuff in detail. But if I did that, this video would be like 40 minutes long. But don't worry, there is going to be a full length lecture with a worksheet that goes along with it and also additional practice set that you can do afterward to see if you have learned it. Okay, to access those, there's going to be a link in the description box down below. Just click it and you're going to be sent to a private lecture. Just follow along and there's going to go super in depth and answer every single one of your questions. If you guys found the video helpful, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if you guys love this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I release this kind of video every single week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3.30 p.m. going over everything I have acquired as a tutor for the past 10 years and I just summarize it into simple videos so that you won't have to spend hours and hours and hours going through SAT books trying to learn what is on the exam. And without a doubt, watching these videos will definitely help you get into the college of your dreams. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments or some things that didn't make sense in the video, make sure you guys leave it in the comment box below and I'll go make I'll make sure to go and answer all your questions. And also, if there is something that you would like to see next, make sure you also drop that in the comment box below because the videos I make for this channel is solely based on what you guys want to see next. And that's all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Down on my body And I know this shit don't impress you So no bullshit, girl, nothing extra Girl, I ain't with playing games I wanna take your whole